are going to start a topic named indexes and zones. So let's begin with the first topic that is indexes. The term indexes refers to the power to which a number is raised. Thus, x cube is a number with an index of 3. Okay, we can also say that x to the power 3. Here we have x cube. Okay, so this 3 is known as index or we can say x to the power 3. We know that 64 is equal to 2 into 2, 6 times, right? That is 2 raised to 6. Okay, so here this 2 is called the base and this 6 is called the power. We can also call it as the index or a exponent. So we can say that 64 is equal to base 2 raised to the power 6. Okay, now let's study the laws on indices. The first one is multiplication x raised to a into x raised to b will give you x raised to a plus b. So if we have a base common, okay, then we can add the powers. So for example, if we have 2 raised to 3 into 2 raised to 4, okay. So as you can see, we have base same, okay. So we can add the powers, right. So it will give you 2 raised to 7, right. Now the next is division. x raised to a upon x raised to b will give you x raised to a minus b. Okay. So, suppose if we have 2 raised to 4 upon 2 raised to 2 like this. So, you can see that we have base same. Okay. And it is in division. So, we have to subtract the powers. Right. So, it will become square. The next one is base raised to 2 powers. So, x raised to a whole raised to b okay so it will be x raised to a so we need to multiply this a and b so for example if we have 2 raised to 3 raised to 4 right so we need to multiply this 3 and 4 okay so 2 raised to 3 into 4 it will give you 2 raised to 12 right the next one is multiple ways to the same power so for example if we have x y whole raised to a so we can split them that is x raised to a y raised to a and x upon y whole raised to a will give you x raised to a y raised to a, right? So suppose if we have 2 upon 3 whole raised to 4, so we can write it like this, 2 raised to 4 upon 3 raised to 4. This is for the division and if we have like this, okay, if we have 6 raised to power 3, so we can write 2 into 3, right, whole raised to 3, so we can write it like this, 2 cube into 3 cube, like this, alright? Now the next one is a negative power. So if we have x raised to minus a, it will become 1 upon x raised to a. So for example, if we have 2 raised to minus a, so it will become 1 upon 2 cube. Now the specific case is x raised to minus 1, that is 1 upon x. Okay, It is referred as a reciprocal of x or we can say that it is the inverse of x. Okay, So this we can say that it is x inverse. Right? Now the next is the 0 and 1 power. So x raised to 1 will give you x and x raised to 0 will give you 1. So for example, if we have 2, so raised to 1 will give you 2 and 2 raised to 0 will give you 1. Right? Now, uh, let's study uh, some example. The first one is 2x raised to 5, y raised to 4 into 5x cube y raised to 6. So firstly, we'll multiply this two number. Okay, so it will give you 10. Here we have x raised to. Now you can see the base is same. Okay, so we can add the powers. So 5 plus 3. And the base here y is same. So we can add the powers. So 4 plus 6. On simplification, we'll get 10 x raised to 8 into y raised to 10. Right? The second is 7 x raised to 4 upon 14 x raised to 8. So first we will uh, simplify this. So it will give you 1 upon 2. Okay. Now this x raised to 8 we will bring in the numerator. So x raised to 4 minus 8. Right. So this is 1 upon 2 x raised to minus 4. Now uh, here it is x raised to minus 4. So we can write it like this. 1 upon x raised to 4. Okay. So this is the simplification. Now let's move to next example. So we have. Uh, 2 upon 3 whole raised to 6 into 9 upon 4 whole raised to 1 by 2 divided by 
27 upon 8 whole raised to minus 1, 1 raised. So, first ray will spread this power. So, it will give you 2 raised to 6 upon 3 raised to 6 into. Now, this 9 we can write it like this 3 square and 4 we can write it like this 2 square whole raised to 1 upon 2. Okay, this is in the division. So, we will write it like this 27 upon 8 whole raised to minus 1 upon 3. Right? Now, uh, this is 2 raised to 6, 3 raised to 6 as it is, okay. Now, first we will spread them and this 2 will get cancelled, okay. So, what we have is only 3 upon 2. Now, this denominator we will bring in the numerator, okay. And in place of 27, we will write 3 cube. In place of 8, we will write 2 cube, okay. And we are bringing it in the numerator, so it will become plus 1 upon 3, alright. Now, this 3 will get cancelled. Okay, so what you got remains is 2 raised to 6 here, 3 raised to 6, 3 upon 2 here, 3 upon 2. Okay, so here we have power 1, 1. Okay, now you can see base 2. Okay, so write down like this 6 minus here we have 2. Okay, so it will become 6 minus 2. Here in the division it will become 3 raised to 6 minus 2. On simplification we will get 2 raised to 4 upon to here. Alright. Now let's move to next example. If x is equal to a plus y upon 3 and 8 raised to x upon 2 raised to y is equal to 64, then we need to find the value of a. Okay. So we have 8 raised to x upon 2 raised to y is equal to 64. Okay. Now 8 we can write it like this 2 cube. Okay. Whole raised to x upon 2 raised to y is equal to 64. Now in place of x we will write a plus y upon 3. Therefore 2 raised to 3 whole raised to a plus y upon 3. Okay. And here 2 raised to y is equal to 64. This 64 we can write it like this 2 raised to 6. Now this 3 will get cancelled. Okay. So what remains is 2 raised to a plus y upon 2 raised to y is equal to 2 raised to 6. Now we will bring this in the numerator. So it is 2 raised to a plus y minus y is equal to 2 raised to 6. Therefore, 2 raised to a is equal to 2 raised to 6. Therefore, on comparing, we can see that the answer of a is what? 6. Okay. Now, let's move to next example. Simplify 3 raised to a upon 3 raised to b whole raised to a plus b into 3 raised to b upon 3 raised to c whole raised to b plus b into 3 raised to c upon 3 raised to a whole raised to c plus a. So first we will simplify this brackets. Okay. So from this we will get 3 raised to a minus b and this whole raised to a plus b. Into here we will get 3 raised to b minus c whole raised to b plus c into 3 raised to c minus a whole raised to c plus a. Okay. Now uh, we will multiply this powers. Okay. So what you will get 3 raised to a square minus b square. Because we know this formula a minus b into a plus b will give you a square minus b square. Similarly we will get here b square minus c square. Okay. And here c square minus b square. Now you can see we have the base same. Okay. So we can add the powers. So it is 3 raised to a square minus b square plus b square minus c square plus c square minus a square. Now this all terms will get cancelled. Right. So what we have is 3 raised to 0 that is 1. Alright. Now let's move to the next topic that is source. A third is a square root which cannot be reduced to a rational number. So, expression such as under root 4, under root 25 has exact numerical value that is 2 and 5. We know this. Okay. So, these expressions are known as roots. But the expression such as under root 2, under root 3, under root 5, these terms we cannot write in a numerical exact quantities. Right. Because we know the answer of root 2 is 1.414 and so on. Right. And under root 5 is 2.2. So, such numbers are called irrational numbers, okay, and it is often convenient to leave them in the form root 2, okay. So, we will generally leave this root 2, root 5 in this form only and these terms are known as source, okay. So, now let's uh, study some laws on source. 
The first one is under root x into under root x will give you x. Okay, this is x raised to 1 by 2 into x raised to 1 by 2 base is same. You can add the powers. Okay, so you will get over here 1. Right? Similarly, under root x, why we give you under root x? Under root i using the loss of indices. Under root x upon y will give you under root x upon under root y. And nth root of under root x will give you x raised to 1 upon n. Now, uh, you have to keep in mind that x plus y whole raised to a cannot be equal to x raised to a plus y raised to a. Why? Because consider this example x plus y whole square. Okay, we know the formula of x plus y whole square that is x square plus 2xy plus y square. So, this cannot be equal to x square plus y square. So, you cannot split in terms of addition. Alright? Now, Let's uh, study the next topic that is rationalizing the denominator. A fraction that contains a radical in its denominator. Radical means thirds. Okay. If we have thirds in the denominator, this can be written as an equivalent fraction with a rational denominator. So when the denominator is a monomial, that is a one term. Okay. So multiply both the numerator and denominator by the number occurring in the denominator. So, our task is to remove third from the denominator, okay? And if we have a monomial term, that is a single term in the denominator, what we are doing, we are multiplying and dividing by that same number, okay? So, root 2 into root 2 will give you 2 and here it will come 7 root 2. This is the method how we rationalize the denominator. Now, next one is, when there is more than one term in the denominator, the process is different, okay? So, you need to multiply the denominator by its conjugate. So, for example, if we had here 3 upon 7 plus under root 5, so its conjugate will be 7 minus root 5, okay? So, the conjugate is the same expression as the denominator but with the opposite sign in the middle. So, here we have plus, so it will become 7 minus under root 5, okay? So, here we have 7 plus root 5, 7 minus root 5. So, we can apply this a plus b into a minus b formula that is a square minus b square. Okay. So, in the denominator, you will get here 49 minus under root 5 square. So, it will give you 5 and this 3 into 7 minus root 5. On simplification, you will get this answer that is 3 into 7 minus root 5 upon 42. All right. Now, let's solve one example. Rationalize the denominator of 7 plus 4 root 3 upon 7 minus 4 root 3. So, the question is 7 plus 4 root 3 upon 7 minus 4 root 3. So, we need to rationalize the denominator. Okay, here we have negative sign. So, we will multiply and divide it by 7 plus 4 root 3 upon 7 plus 4 root 3. Okay. So, again in denominator we have this form that is a minus b, a plus b, okay. So, the answer will be a minus b into a plus b will give you a square minus b square, okay. Here a is 7 and b is 4 under root 3, okay. And in numerator we have 7 plus 4 root 3 two times. So, we can write it like this 7 plus 4 root 3 whole square, okay. Here a square means 49 minus B square means for 4 under root 3 whole square, okay. So, it will give you 4 square 16, okay, and root 3 into root 3. So, this is 3, so it will give you 48, right. So, 49 minus 48 over here. Now, we will apply A plus B whole square formula, okay. We know this formula A plus B whole square is A square plus 2AB plus B square, right. So, a square means 49 plus 2 into a is 7, b is 4 root 3 plus 4 root 3 square, okay. Upon here in denominator, we have 1. Further simplify, okay. So, what you will get over here, 49 plus here 8 into 7. So, it will give you 56 root 3 plus, now we have solved this. So, this is 48, right, upon here we have 1, okay, so no need to write the denominator, just simplify this, so this is 97 plus 56 root 3, this is the simplification, alright. Now, 
let's study one more example uh, 2 upon 7 plus root 5 is equal to b upon b into 7 minus root 5 we need to find the value of a and b okay so we'll bring this 7 minus root 5 in the denominator okay so it will be 7 plus root 5 into 7 minus root 5 is equal to a upon b okay now again same formula a plus b into a minus b will give you a square minus b square right so here 7 square minus root 5 square okay is equal to a upon b simplify this so this is 2 upon here 49 minus 5 is equal to a upon b therefore it is 2 upon 42 is equal to a upon b okay cancel it so it is 1 upon 22 is equal to a upon b on comparing we can see that the answer of a is 1 and the answer of b is 2 right now let's move to next example so we have x is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 okay and we need to find the value of x minus 1 upon x whole cube okay so x is given to you that is 3 plus 2 root 2 So firstly, we will find one upon x. That is one upon three plus two root two. Now we have third in the denominator, so we will rationalize this. Okay, so for that we have here plus. So multiply and divide by three minus two root two. Okay, three minus two root two. So this is three minus two root two as it is. Again here a plus b into a minus b. That is a square minus b square. So three square minus two root two. square okay so this is 3 minus 2 root 2 upon here we have 9 here 4 into 2 it will give you 8 okay so denominator is 1 therefore answer of 1 upon x is what 3 minus 2 root 2 okay now we need to find this x minus 1 upon x whole cube okay we know x is what 3 plus 2 under root 2 minus answer of 1 upon x is what 3 minus Under root two, okay, whole cube. First, we'll open this bracket, so it will give you three plus two under root two minus three plus two under root two whole cube. Okay, this three will get cancelled. Okay, so we have four under root two whole cube, right? So this is four into four into four, and here we have under root two three times. Okay, now simplification will get one twenty eight under root two. Okay, so this is your So I hope you have understood throughout the session. Thank you for watching.